Hey guys, Street RV here, and welcome back to another episode of this Gaia. In the last episode, we went to the item world and we upgraded our sword so we could actually get the castle, get access to the castle that we need to go to and loot so we could pay these printies their money. You gotta work hard for the money, regardless of whatever you, powers you get the money. But yeah, we haven't done anything extra on the side that we really need to tell you guys about. So, yeah, sword work. We got access to the castle, so that's how we go. The gaudy entrance. Hmm. Level is Bring Saber out first, actually. Is there any. I don't see any Geo symbols you need to find. Let me get here. See if we can get some of these people leveled up. I'm pretty sure she won't be able to kill her that much. Stop her. Her. Fall in the Bring her up to clean up one of these people here. Look, I have a long bar? Let's move up the hall. I don't know what this guy is. Oh, wow. Let's see, let's uh, let's try to move, let me start moving up to over here. Put them both on the team. Uh, Nella Hall, we can get the counter off. And just in case, Leon doesn't kill this guy. I'm not doing much at all. <laughs> that counter is very powerful. Especially since the hall is very leveled up. Take this guy out of here. I'll have Etna see if she can come up and also attack him. I'll have Leo move up behind the hall. Maybe a bad spot for her. Alright, we'll have 
have Etna attack this guy. We'll have her follow up on that guy. Now there's a guy. probably taken when the king died. So, this place belongs to an ex-vassal? Hmm, this'll be fun. Hey, Prinnies, this is for your paychecks. You better work hard. Aye, aye, dude. Hmm, in other words, Prinnies are a lot different than Castillus and Celestia. <laughs> and Ce Celestia, Prinnies cook, clean, and do laundry. But they're all the same on the inside. On the inside? What do you mean? You're an angel. You don't know these things? Things have human souls inside. Most of them were pretty worthless in their past lives, like murderers or thieves. Their work as printings in another word of Celestia to atone for their sins. In Celestia, they do good deeds for free. In another word, they do ultra hard labor for less than minimum wage. Damn. Once they've redeemed themselves or saved enough money, they can be reincarnated. I don't know all these details, but that's the basic idea. I see. But why did he work for money in the netherworld? You never heard of this saying? Money makes the netherworld go around. <laughs> I don't get it. Is money that important? Of course it is. Jeez, you should let me. But there's nothing more important than money in this world than any other. Of course there is. Love and friendship. Huh? Who good is that stuff? Did your hair full of flowers or something? Yes, I love flowers. Oh jeez. Your hair is full of flowers. Hanzo, like that name, that clean Overwatch name. That's why she moved your boy Laharl. All right, come on. Cause I know you can get it. You can move up here and get an attack off of somebody. Let's get him right here. Move that boy all the way up here. He don't care. Oh, we did forget to heal up our characters. Oh, well. We're on Etna here. If this gets too dire, we always have Fleon. Even Amelia to actually heal us up. Speaking of Amelia, I need to train her up a bit. It's not going to be any use to us if I don't do that. Solo training with Amelia. I'm pretty sure Saber can actually get up all of it. Oh, she can. So, how was this? And the uh, 
case of setting the trap up here. I flew to a horror. No, you can't. Oh no, you can't. I don't know if Sage is She could. I was looking at the wrong square there. Oh, they got a. They got a man. They got a uh, beast back there. <laughs> Named Love. Uh, let's do a special just to make sure we kill this guy. Wing Slayer? Wait, what? A devastating strike from the sky. Okay. That, that sounds interesting, actually. Hurt me! I don't really see them doing much to our warriors. What is this? No entry lifting. Okay, so we gotta kill that thing. <laughs> Let's get plenty of yard up here. How much health is this? She should be able to kill this one. Like he gains 
This might be a little bit interesting because I think the cleric might shield. Turn back to the castle real quick and heal up our characters. of my own man. Oh, so this is what Ma Mr. Chris Kruseskov <laughs> looked like. That's right. He was a magnificent overlord. Hmm, not even. I was ready to dethrone him myself, but he went and croaked on his own. Hey, Prince, can I have it? Sure, go ahead. Oh, that's not nice. Come to think of it, how did he pass away? Choked on a black pretzel. Huh? The overlord of the Netherware died by choking on a black eh, on a pretzel? <laughs> well, it happened, so I guess anything's possible. Sigh. And this was the person I was ordered to assassinate. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, is this the boss level? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How are we gonna handle this? Let's see, uh... Oh. I'll see y'all. What we maybe could do, actually, hold up. What I'm thinking here to try to clear out a lot of these people is we can come out with plenty of art. Uh. Jesus. Yes, thank you. Game had the same idea. 
You can attack one of these people. They should kill. And then what I want to do here is get my hall out here. Get him on this platform right here. Take a couple of them out. Thought I might take out a little bit more. Guess we'll focus on this side. I'm not really high level, so we don't have much to worry about. Kill okay, deal. We get Ritna out here. I have her focus on killing me. I don't really want to bring Flay on out here right now. I know about being in trouble. I think everybody has trouble. Start cleaving to these people. I'm not gonna waste the hard one. I can have him come over here and try to kill one. See if I can get a drop off. Let me kill these two. Can we move that? No. Let's see how this position is. Move to Leona, actually, and get a kill. Oh, 
Brim? <laughs> Love the name. Clean. Lord, give me strength. Saber up here. That's we can get her to just kill. Oh, hurt me! 
That's a consumable one. I'm gonna wait to see the. Who's there? <laughs> Don't tell me you've forgotten me. Who are you? Laharl, <laughs> the heir to the throne, King Krichevskoy's son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ever since the king died, I knew I was forgetting something. Ah. So it was you, Prince. Oh shit. You call yourself a vassal? You know how demons are. You always say not to be so picky about the details. <laughs> I'm not a detail. Oh, don't be so self-centered. I'm glad you helped refresh my memory. It was nagging me, like a fish bone stuck in my throat. <laughs> Fishbone, you! Well, what do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? Now that my old man's dead, I'm the Netherworld's next overlord. I'm taking back everything that's mine, and the rest of your fortune, too. That's right. <laughs> Don't push your luck. Just because you're the king's son, it doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. It's strength that counts in another world. If you want what is now mine, you'll have to take it by force. That's what I plan to do. That's exactly what I had in mind. See, me and Lahar, we got the same mind. Enough talk. Let's go. Fighting over money and power. Were the angels right about demons? If they really are evil, then... Alright, we got a nice little solo going on here. See how we can analyze the situation right quick. I would like to get a wind cutter off and just like kill all of these guys in like one shot. But I don't know if that's possible. Let's see what Blair in the hall can do. I think he would be able to get up here. We just need to be able to kill one of these guys. Is he plenty of armor here? Alright. 
I should just start clearing these people out. We need to get off this. I need to bring in. I don't look like that movie. I'm starting not to care that we even heal the other side. Just need to heal the other side. At this point, play on the side. Lord, give me strength! Alright. Ah! Oh, 
he definitely did. Not good. Alright. <laughs> Maybe we could actually get on a move with this now. Uh, we're gonna special. And we're gonna drop those dudes right there. We're gonna move play on away. And get to where this guy cannot get to her. I don't think he would be able to move from the track right there. I'm actually going to trap this area right here. Let's try to see if we can do the track right there, this guy. At this point, I really want to protect my own right now, let's do it again. I don't think she heals herself. That's the case. I might have to bring on a D. A cannon fodder, of course. But I do need her to do that. We 
Let's just do a saber right here. Everything as promised. You, you can't. I won't be able to survive without my money. <laughs> <laughs> well then, I'll just finish you off now. <laughs> How cruel! Not only is he taking his money, but his life too. I can't let this happen. If worse comes to worse, I'll stop him with my own two hands. Wait, you bully! Who are you, you? Hogmiser's son? Let go! I won't go easy on you just because you're a kid. Damn. Hey, kid! Why are you risking your life for this greedy pig? You want to die? Don't you understand, Laharo? This is love. Here we go again. Love, love, love. Is that all you've got in your puny little head? You damn love freak. Oh, Jesus Christ. You can call me whatever you want, but why is it that you refuse to believe in love? You reject it because you're afraid of it. Isn't that right? Laharo, my son. Hmm? What do you think of me? Do you love me? No, I hate you. <laughs> a typical answer for a demon? Damn. Which is fine for now, but one day... <clears throat> now she's got me thinking about my old man! My old man, huh? What was he trying to tell me that time? <clears throat> this is stupid. Why am I even thinking about this? It's all that love freak's fault. 
Forget it. I've wasted enough of my time. Huh? You're not gonna finish him? It wouldn't make me any richer. All right, start taking the good stuff. But make sure you leave some behind for them. Maharu. Hmm. How am I was deeply moved by Laharo's kind gesture? And he joined your party without your consent. <laughs> Alright. Master Lamington, I finally understand. Those words you spoke to me. Master Lamington? What is it, Flan? Told me that the demons are all evil. Is that true? What do you think? Hmm. I've never met one, so I don't know. <laughs> Listen carefully, Flan. There is no such thing as absolute evil or absolute good. The angels assume that they are good and the demons are evil. That is an unfortunate misconception. Demons do have love. The angels, and in fact most demons, just do not realize it. If we can guide them, if we can make them see, then one day... Master Lamington, I will accompany Laharo for a little while longer. He is selfish, self-centered, and stubborn. And those aren't his only shortcomings. But I have discovered a hint of kindness in his heart. It may be small right now, but I have great hope that he will learn to love. So, Master Lamington, please forgive my digression. Alright, that's the end of episode three. Roaming the wild frontier, Etna is challenged by the Dark Chef Hao. A cooking battle deathmatch begins that will shake the Earth's foundation. Sounds cheesy to me, dude. This week's dish, Cajun-style gumbo. And the ingredients, the Pretty Squad. Dude, us? Etna struggles to resist the powers of the dark side of cooking. But then, Ajikage, the ninja cook, appears. Dude, what in the world? Next on Fire Chef Cooking Gal Etna Episode 4, Etna 120% <laughs> with a pitch of murderous intent. Yeah, hopeless, dude. We're not gonna save. Our little flan. She managed to escape the grasp of the demons. Yes, she did. <laughs> she probably used her feminine charm. She's a little girl. So, Krachevskoy was already dead. What I don't understand is why Flan hasn't returned to Celestia. Is it possible that she's trying to use the demons to gain control of Celestia? <laughs> That's it! That has to be it! There's no other explanation! Oh boy. I won't allow it! My plan shall not be interfered with! Still, this demon den is so filthy! It reeks of evil! Hmm? What is this book? <laughs> Don't demons know how to put things away when they're done with them? <sighs> what kind of book is this? My god! This page! This page! All these pages! Okay. Ha ha. Ha ha. Huh? I mustn't. I mustn't fall for the demon's trap. Those cunning fiends. But I, Archangel Volcanus, will not fall prey to such a dirty trick. Flan, where are you? <sighs> hmm? <sighs> uh, 
Ah, I found you. There is only one person who makes a noise like that when she sleeps. <laughs> Fly. I'm taking your pendant. Rot in the depths of the netherworld. Ha. Episode 4, Gift from an Angel. Oh, so what's the end of episode 4? A pendant? Yes, it was gone when I woke up this morning. And what are you trying to say? That one of us stole your pendant? No, if it were you, you would steal it impartially, right? Hmm, S so you do get it. Then what do you want me to do? I want you to help me find my pendant. Huh? Do I look like a servant boy to you? No, but... What's wrong, Juan? You look tired. Y yes. The Seraph gave that pendant to me before I came to the Netherworld. An angel trainee like me cannot stay in the netherworld very long without that pendant. At this rate, I will lose all of my energy and eventually die. That's not good. Hmm, is that so? Well, that sucks. <laughs> Prince, what you gonna do? Like I should care. She came to assassinate my old man in the first place. That's our prince. Even capable of turning his back on such a helpless little girl. Of, of course! Laharl? What? It's the truth, isn't it? Laharl, if you can find my pendant, I will give you something good. Something good, you say? Yep. Hmm. If I wanted it, I'd just steal it from you. Use violence on weak little me? Give it up already. I'm a demon. That's my boy Lahal. It doesn't matter who you are, even if you were old, maimed, or diseased. <laughs> Fine. Then my gift will never be yours. What's that supposed to mean? Tell me. Are you trying to provoke me? Hm, fine. I've got some time to kill. Laharl. But let me make one thing clear. I'm not doing this for your sake. And when I find the pendant, that something good is mine. <laughs> Thank you, Laharl. <laughs> My game. You're an angel. You shouldn't be thanking demons. I do what I want, when I want. Remember that. Huh. <laughs> oh my god. Come my room right quick. Yeah, everything better be tidy up in my room. When I had no guns laying around. Us monster type demons can only equip monster only weapons. Isn't that just unfair? I overheard the printers talking about a second cycle. What's that mean? Uh, what no dude? Are you utilizing team attacks? I'm trying, bruh. That's just a music guy. When bribing senators, it's best to bribe the highest level senators in the time. The higher the level, the more influence they have. So basically, money is power, huh? It's the same thing. Now that you mention that, I did see a suspicious man prowling around last night. Hey, what did you do? Watch probably from a distance, of course. You probably just gonna say it. We don't need to know anything about weapons right now. Oh, 
All right, guys. Uh, I think I might call this a uh, video. That was pretty. Uh, that was pretty unfortunate for Fleon, but this uh, guy stole her pendant, so we probably gonna have to go find that in the next episode. As always, let me know about any kind of quality video. <laughs> quality to the videos I can change to make to to make for you guys to make them better. Can't even speak right now. Until next time, shoot on the out.